Hi, in today's video we're going to make a game using Scratch 3. Now I'm going to use Scratch 3 online so you can use this on an iPad or you can use it on a desktop or a laptop. So I've typed in Scratch 3 to my search engine. I'm just going to click on Scratch 3 here. Now when Scratch 3 comes on, you need to click at the top on the word create. So here we go. So when it comes up, just takes a short time just to come up on your screen. You'll get the character Scratch that we've seen already in Scratch Junior, but we're not going to use Scratch today. So I'm just going to click on Scratch. Down at the bottom here where it says Sprite 1, I'm going to click on the dustbin. And our Scratch has disappeared. We're going to use a shark for this game today. To find the um, character, you click on the little cat, which is down here in the right bottom corner. And it'll say, choose a Sprite. We're just going to click on the small magnifying glass at the top there to click on that. And once we've done that, we're going to go into Animals. When we've found our animal, we're going to go down, we're going to find the shark, where it is. So let's click on the shark, and we've got a shark. Now, if you look at the costumes on the shark, by clicking on the word costumes here, he's actually got three costumes. He's got a mouth closed, a mouth open, and this one here. I'm going to get rid of that one, because it doesn't really work in the animation, so I'm just going to click on the dustbin there to get rid. So we're now left with the mouth open and the mouth closed. There we go. So let's click on code. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to find a backdrop. So we're just going to slide that across. Next to the cat, we've got this landscape button here. I'm just going to click on the small magnifying glass again. You've got the different backgrounds. You've got some great backgrounds that you can use, but I'm going to go to the underwater one. I'm going to choose one of the underwater backgrounds that's going to be the backdrop for my game. I'm going to click on that one there. It makes it look a little bit more cartoony. So let's click on that one. And there we've got our shark in our backdrop. You can draw your own if you want to, but I'm just going to use one that's on, uh, already been prepared. Right, so let's add some animation blocks now to our shark. What I do with the children is just build it up really, really slowly. So let's click on the events button. We're going to drag on a when green flag clicked. Let's get our shark to move. To get our shark to move, I'm going to click on the motion block, which is this one here. And we're just going to have move 10 steps. So what you'd say to the children is, let's click on the green flag and see what happens. He moves ever so slowly. We want him to move a little bit more. So let's click on the control one and let's bring in a forever block. And just wrap it around there. Now, at the moment, that won't work properly. So what you need to do is just drag that up and make sure the move goes inside that block. So whatever's in that inside that forever block is going to work through the game. So let's click on the green flag now and you can see our shark moves across. Now, obviously, he's on the edge of the screen. We want him to bounce off. Let's go back to the motion block. We're just going to put in there a block which says, if on edge, bounce. You may need to scroll down a little bit for this one. And there it is. So, if on edge, bounce. Let's see what happens to our shark. He's moving upside down, but we can change that. Don't worry. So, if you click on the if on edge, bounce, we'd add the rotation just to switch it. So, he moves from left to right as he goes across the screen. There you go. He's now moving the right way. Now, obviously, we want him to open and close his mouth because he's going to go through the game catching some fish. Let's go to the looks option. And in the looks option, we're going to change next costume. That switches between the mouth open and the mouth closed costume. And there he goes. It's a little bit too fast. So what I'm going to do now is just slow that down. So we go into the control block. We've got one there that waits one second between the change of costumes. So we just add that in there underneath the next costume. It's a little bit slow. So what we say to the children is let's just change that. To a decimal, we're going to change that to 0 0.1. And there we go. You can see now our shark's happily moving across the screen, opening and closing his mouth. Obviously, we want this again. We need this um, the user to have more control. So we're going to go back into the motion block. And this time, we're going to drag in a point towards block. We're just going to put that in underneath the weight block. And if you look now, just stop him, click on the green flag. I move my arrow around, just going to make the screen a little bit bigger so you can see. You move your pointer around, he now follows the arrow. So you've got a little bit of control over what you want him to do. So let's go back down to the small screen. I'm just going to stop the game there. I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm going to show you how to add the fish in the second part of the video. So let's just stop that one. 